set it on this first deck. Well, you can see behind me I got a pretty good start on this siding. I am making them one by ten. That sawmill shed, I actually cut that three quarter, um, but this will give me a little bit more of an insulator, so I'm making it one inch by ten inches. And I've kind of tossed around the idea many times about either doing board and batten or uh, lap siding. I honestly think that it will look better uh, being lap siding, uh, but I want you all to give me some comments. You know, what do you think? I'm also going to throw that question out to uh, some of the contractors out there. You know, what would be um, the best method or the preferred method to do lap siding or board and batten? I kind of feel like the lap siding would be better. The only corners I would have to caulk would be both ends because it would run off from one board to the next. If I do board and batten, I kind of feel like I would have to do both sides of the batten. But at any rate, uh, you contractors, uh, builders out there, tell me what the best idea um, for this cabin would be. Anyway, yeah, I'll get up and let you see that. I swept the sawdust off, but it turned out it turned out really nice. I'm gonna stain these a, a light stain that way I'll have a good contrast with those black posts it's dried up enough now what I'm gonna do um, I had to cut the bank down the other day when we were putting the roof on so that we could get the tractor in the back because it was just a whole lot quicker for my son to lift me up and move me down the edge of the roof line when we were putting the metal on so now since I had to cut it down I don't have a ditch back there anymore so I'm going to take my box blade, I'm going to drop the rippers on it and see if I can't pull that back down which it's below, see if that won't help it drain. It was draining really good with that ditch back there but since I don't have it now, um, some of the water the other day ran in not too far but uh, just on top of the footer so I, I want to try to eliminate that if I can. So let's go back here and see if we can't get set up and uh, dig that down a little bit. Uh, earlier today what I did was is since I treated these yesterday I went ahead and got me uh, some saran wrap and I wrapped the post because I know that it won't sweat but that'll protect it from the water until I get some guttering I got a guy coming next week to uh, check on some guttering that way the water when it comes down it won't splash and get these posts all nasty anyway another thing that I had an idea about uh, y'all leave me some comments what I'm thinking about doing is running both gutters that direction uh, where the water will run off that way at the end of the house later on. Uh, right now I'll just use some black pipe, you know, just to let it run off over the bank. But what I want to do is later on when I get the end finished, I want to tie the two together. I want to come down. I want to go underground. And I think I'm going to get a couple of 500 gallon barrels, plastic barrels, dig a hole in the bank over there, set the barrels down into uh, the holes, one offset from the other where when this one uh, when this one fills up then this one will begin to fill up and I'll have sort of a filter system just to keep out uh, you know tree buds, leaves, things like that and let that rainwater run into those big barrels. Now primarily uh, it will be used for washing dishes, washing clothes, since it won't turn the clothes yellow because we have a lot of problem with iron and sulfur here but I'm thinking if I have a thousand gallons as long as it rains it should replenish that uh, I might do okay I don't know if you have had any experience with that let me know I would put a, a pump in the bottom one to pump it back to the house to a pressurized tank use that for like I said washing dishes uh, doing laundry uh, showering things like that and my drinking water I always buy that that's what I'm thinking about. Y'all leave me some comments, let me know. 
by sticking them in the ground, they won't freeze because, you know, they'd be so deep that uh, the temperature would stay the same. So I shouldn't have any problems uh, during the winter time because here it doesn't hardly get below freezing. You know, it will get down around freezing, maybe just dip down into it a little bit, but hardly ever does it get down uh, lower than in the 20s. So, and it doesn't do that very long. A lot of times our winter here is very short, generally January, February. Uh, it stays warm on up into December. And like now, the, the first of March, I mean, it's short sleeve. The sun was bearing down today, nice and warm. So yeah, let me know what you think about that in the comments. Okay, what I've decided to do before I drop these rippers, what I may try doing is I've got it tilted or leaning in that direction because I want the dirt actually to slope back towards the bank. Uh, so that creates a ditch because it, it's higher here than it is on that end. So it's naturally going to flow that way. But since I don't have the ditch, it's coming this way. Anyway, um, so I'm going to get back here and I'm going to see if I can't Go ahead and set this down and have the blade actually knock it down and, and pull it out that way before I have to reset all of these because these will really dig if you set them down. So I'm going to try that first.
I did manage to dig that down about, oh, I don't know, foot, foot and a half. Um, and I did get it angled. I'm going to have to get in there with the shovel and clean off that footer and push it this way. But that should take care of the water now when it comes down. Um, it'll wash out that way. I do have a big grater blade. It's seven feet. Uh, you've probably seen it sitting over there by the sawmill. But uh, since I had that on there, I figured I'd go ahead and use it. I, I may have to get the grater blade out and kind of angle it and uh, go ahead and clean this out on this side. But yeah, that's, I think that that'll take care of the water. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed me again catching up on some odd and end things. You know, there's many comments that I receive about, you know, why didn't I do this and why didn't I do that? Like the bracing. Well, first of all, I've got two befores that are bracing that, from when we first put the structure up because I didn't have time to get the knee braces in there. And there's a lot of other things that are undone that I can always go back and do as long as everything is plumb. You know, do it on my own time. I just try to do things, you know, when I know that help is going to be around where I can get uh, some major things accomplished. But anyway, like I said, I hope you enjoyed this. I'm going to go ahead and close it down. It's getting later on up into the day. Anyway, everyone have a great evening. Take care, and I look forward to seeing you back up here at the Outpost in the future.